Hi, this is Karen Hardis-Siddle from the Omaha Alpha AMS, and I'm going to show you how to program your WR100 Midland Weather Radio. Okay, the first thing you're going to do when you take the radio out of the box is you're going to install three AAA batteries that go right in the back here. What these batteries are are a backup. It is not intended to be how you... Um, normally use your weather radio. You always want to have a, your radio plugged in with the, ad the provided adapter into the DC jack. The first thing you're going to do is turn the weather radio on. This is a button on the side. We'll switch it to on. We're going to press menu. Um, we're going to set the time. To do that you just press select and then you can use these up and down arrow keys to change the time. Right now it's 8.43. Just that easy. Then press select. If you choose to use this clock as an alarm clock, you're going to press select, then the arrow up, press select again, uh, turn it on, press select, and then here you can choose your time. Select, and I'm actually going to turn it off because I don't want to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And press select. Select again. Menu. So we just set our time. And use the up arrow. We showed you the alarm clock. Next we're going to choose a channel. Now the default channel um, from the factory with this radio is channel 4. However, that is Lincoln. There are seven frequencies that are um, programmed into your WR100 weather radio. And the one that comes in best for our area is actually channel 1, which is out from Valley. Degree days today, which is 1 below normal. That's channel 1. This leaves... That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Sunday. The current time and is 30 miles. So if you noticed, like channels 1, 6, and 7 came in the best, but channel 1 was definitely better than the other ones. Which occurred in 1965 and the record low is 20. And then you press select. So now your channel is uh, selected. At, and at this point, you can get the weather 24-7 just by pressing... The weather button. Assuming your radio is on. If your radio is not on and you press weather, nothing's going to happen. So let's turn it on. I'm just showing you the most common errors from that that I find that, that people do. Okay, so we've set the time. I've shown you how to use the alarm clock. And that for Omaha Off It, you want to have it set to channel 1. At this point, we're going to choose the specific area message encoding for our area, which is going to be um, Douglas, Sarpy, and Saunders County. I know it doesn't really show up on this map here, but let's say that a storm comes all the way up here in Dodge County and just clips like the northwest part of Dodge County and then keeps headed northeast. That's never going to hit Sarpy County, and the, the storm is never going to hit Douglas County, so... You don't want to wake up in the middle of the night for a warning way up here in Dodge County or, for that matter, way down here in Fremont County because those storms are never going to hit you. They're just going to continue to move to the, to the northeast. So we're going to program only, I know this doesn't look well on the flip, but you're only going to plug in um, the codes for Sarpy, Douglas, and Saunders County. That will give you probably a good 30-minute leeway for a dangerous storm moving very quickly and headed your way. Let's see, let's go. Time, alarm, channel, same set. I'm going to hit select. The default from the factory is any. That means that it will go off for any one of these counties and that's what we're trying to avoid. You can choose a single county, but that is only going to give you like a 10 minute leeway for a or less for a very fast moving storm. So it's always good to plug in um, a couple of surrounding counties too. So we're going to choose multiple. 
select. And the first one that will come up is same number one. There's actually 25 channels you can program in here. We're just going to do one, um, one, two, and three. Um, you can use this weather radio all over the country, and there's lots of places where you might want to have in, you know, 10 or 15 different codes, but for our area, three is sufficient. I'm going to press select, and then I'm plugging in the county, um, the county code for Douglas County, and that's 031055. These numbers are available on the National Weather Service site. You could also get them from Midland Weather Radio or your friendly uh, folks at KETV will be able to help you out too. Actually, any of the stations in town will help you do this. Okay, so Douglas County is 01, I'm sorry, 031055. You press select and that one's done. Then we're going to press the up arrow and go to same channel number two and we'll put in Sarpy County which is 031153. I'm just showing you how the arrows work here. Then we're going to choose same three and press select again and we plugged in Saunders County which is 031 one five five. Press select. Menu. We'll get out of here and go back. Now you've got your time set. You see the alarm. You're on channel number one. Three. Just double checking. Same set. We've got our th multiple choices and we have our three counties in. We could add in a fourth county if you wanted. Like let's say that you you live right like a council bluffs, you know, maybe you'd want to add in Pottawatomie County. Um, that is 019155. Even though it's Iowa, it's still picked up by the the um, the Omaha frequency. And all these codes are available at the National Weather Service site, or you can get to there from uh, the Midland Weather Radio site. Next, you can choose your alert type. There's a tone, which sounds like this. That's pretty loud, and um, if you choose tone, the tone will last for like 30 seconds, and it will be followed by a voice, which will let you know the actual hazard. So first there'll be like this you know, wild sound that wakes you up, and then it will turn into a voice that will tell you what the hazard is. You can also choose just voice if you find the alarm sound too jarring. And then you also have an option for display. Let's say that there's a time where you don't care if there's going to be severe weather. You really got to get your sleep or something, or you already are privy to the hazard. So you can also just choose display if you don't want to be constantly awakened by an alarm. But that's kind of silly. So I'm going to choose alert type tone because I like that horrible sound that wakes me up. And I press select. And now it's all set up for that. And then the test, that's what it's going to sound like. So now your weather radio is programmed to only pick up watches and warnings that come out for Douglas, Sarpy, and Saunders County. And again, you can get the weather 24 hours a day from the upper 40s. your National Weather Southwest Service office just by pressing the weather button. Okay, and that's it for how to program your WR100 weather radio from Midland.